Hello and welcome back to my channel. So thank you for everybody joining me today. And don't forget if you like my videos and my content to uh, do subscribe and click that bell icon as well so you don't miss any future videos. But today I am just in the cabin and it is absolutely roasting. I've got no heating on in my cabin for the past uh, week or two because it's been quite warm outside. It's currently 29 degrees in here. So <clears throat> I've insulated my cabin very, very well. So everything in here is enjoying the heat and everything's molting very, very quickly. But um, I was in my old area where I used to live down south and uh, I seen a friend of mine, Arachno Beth. I'll put that up on the screen. She's got her own YouTube channel as well. I don't think she's put anything on there for a little while, but she's still in the hobby and she's going to probably be putting some more stuff on soon. But check her channel out. I'll put a link in the description. She's got loads of good stuff on her channel. But I picked up one that I did have before that unfortunately perished due to molts, as some of them do. And it is in here at the bottom, so I'm going to rehouse it. But it is the Salmopeus Reduncus. I think it's the Costa Rican orange mouth, if that's the common name, if I'm correct. I'll put that up on the screen. But that's it there. And it is a confirmed female. So it is about, I think, stretched out possibly eight to 10 centimeters. So I'm going to put it in an enclosure, which you'll see with me now. And the enclosure I've got ready and made for it. is this little beauty and it's a larger one of these exoterras but the plan is it should because it's freshly molted it's molted about a week ago or so i think she said to me today so it is fangs have gone black on there so it's now going to start growing and these ones if any of you have got them in the hobby they Samuel pears can be a bit feisty some genuses um, but she said to me that this one's quite a docile one but I think as they put on some size they can get a little bit feistier. These, the Samuel pears reduncus, um, get chunky I'd like to say. They get stockier legs and they're a bit skittish, fast movement but my last one, the female, put a link up to the video I had before, I think it's that side or that side and um, she was quite feisty. She would run out very, very food hungry at all the time, never really failed to eat. If she didn't eat, then I knew she was um, due a malt. So I'm gonna put her into this enclosure. So let's just get on with it, start the video, and we'll rehouse her. So there we have the enclosure, and I've started at the bottom, so we've just got some leaf litter. And if you see here, all these little beasties crawling around. They're all the springtails that I've put in here. So they've took straight away within a couple of days. Did this a couple of days ago and put everything in. And I've got some carpet moss. I think that's what you call it. Um, picked up from local from where I live. So absolutely fine. No big beasties or anything or parasites. It's off the beaten path, so no chemicals. I've been using it for a while, so it's brilliant stuff. Put some fake decoration in there as well, just some leaf litter. And then I use this big piece of cork bark, which I know she will use as a hide. But off previous note to the one I had before, I left it open at the top and I left nothing there. And I found that she didn't like to come up to the top. She would only ever hide down by the bottom and then come out this way. And the reason is, is because there's no foliage at the top. So I've put this in, it's just a fake plant just to give it some cover but then i should see her come up here and then hopefully come out and use this bit as well and walk around and i've put other hiding spots for her as well so loads of different bits of cork bark in there it goes right at the back so it's an ample size enclosure for her plenty of height nice big fake orange plant just for look on there ease of maintenance and then obviously i've got the real stuff here with a good few inches of substrate at the bottom no drainage layer on this one because i don't need to because it's quite warm in here and she's going to be in a part of the cabin which is a little bit warmer because she likes that and what i'll do is i'll just spray the moss and then spray the water dishes she's got two one at the top one there so she can come out and i've just hot glued them in the same at the top so she can come out either way and this gives her plenty of room. So I think what we'll do is we'll just see if we can get her straight out of here and straight in. Give you a quick look at her there. So it almost looks like peach coloration and it does at this size, but they grow quite quickly from here because they are very food aggressive and the coloration changes, but um, 
the orange mouth. I never actually managed to got to see if they do have an orange coloration around the mouth, but I think you can see from the legs and the hair on there where it's peach and sort of orange colors. So that's where they get it from. But they constantly eat and they will get a nice large fat abdomen. So this one's quite low at the moment. So I'll get her in and then I'll see if I can tag on some feed in in the next couple of days. Let's see if I can get this one out. All right, let's see if this will work. See how chill she is. Oh, come on. Look at that, and they have like little orange feet as well. Stunning coloration. Let's see if I can get her to come out and down. That's it, whoa, 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 disappeared. And there we have her. Gone around already. I think you can see her just there but I think she will come forward and she will come straight into there um, so it's quite chilled already still see her coming down she's gonna explore I like to always try and feed some of my tarantulas when I get them rehoused for the first time to see if they're chilled because she's there I might see if she'll take down there let's see if I can get some movement So no, she doesn't want to eat, so we're going to leave her to settle. And then I'm going to come back in maybe a day, maybe two, and just see if I can get her to eat and see where she is, see if she actually goes in the middle of that court buck and uses that. So uh, stay tuned for the next clip. Okay, so this is a couple of days later. I think if I remember right, it's three days later. I'm trying to find it. It's not hiding down there. It's not in the court buck. The place it's decided to go is right there and squeeze in completely. I've got no idea why, it's got plenty of places to hide, but like I said with the foliage, that's why it's gone under there so it feels more secure. But I think when it gets a bit bigger, then it will go on the inside. So I need to try and plump this one up. So I'm gonna try and see if I can feed it again. I did try with a, a cockroach, dubia roach, but this one got scared of the size. So hopefully it's settled, but I don't think this one is. I think this is gonna take a good week plus to settle. So I'm gonna try just with a cricket a bit smaller and see if it will take it. If I can get this into position. Nothing. Oh, come on, a bit of movement. Oh yeah, it's taking it, get on. Didn't think it would. It's gonna be awkward trying to get some footage in here though, but if I keep feeding this one up, um, put on some size on the abdomen, then it should start going inside. But you can see already it's starting to web up all around on the back of the leaves. So it's gonna use this as a highlight. You can see it's even webbed down here. So it's choosing to do this. It's gonna web this whole section up and it disappears. So hopefully it'll eventually come up and start using this. But if I feed it up, it should start using it. But there we go. So it has taken, so it has settled in. So I'll leave it as that one. So check out uh, future videos for future updates.